Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new codex review. So I just re um, had the Dark Angels codex um, this last Saturday. Although I ordered this um, a week ago, but the problem there was some issues. Oh, so I ordered this way in two weeks ago, but there were some issues with the transport and the codex didn't arrive on time. So now uh, I will want. I would like to do a review. It's it's about two three weeks after the launch looks like an eternity especially with all the movement in Edge of Sigmar but now let's make a review a review and I know that there is a lot already in the internet I want to give me just my point of view and see what what we find in this codex so again there is a lot of fluff and, and very nice illustrations at the beginning uh, about the the Dark Angels so we can find a lot of, of nice let me see if I can avoid the bright okay so we have uh, the heraldy all the typical stuff we find at the beginning of a codex the organization of, of the dark angels uh, so the so here we have the organization of the battle company structure the raven wind structure death wind structure so here you're going to observe the, we have the chaplain, the Roman command squad. So yeah, I see. I didn't go into all the details yet. So the Death Wind, and then we have the Lion's Blade. So the Demi Company, Inner Circle, Death Wind Armory. So all, all. I think it's nice always to have a read there. Some of the successor chapters. So Angels of Vengeance, Consecrators, Angels of Redemption, Discipline. Disciples of Caliban, Angels of Absolution, Guardians of the Guardians of the Covenant. So the typical um, uh, chronology with the main success, and then we have all the background of the different units in the codex. So starting with the company masters, chaplains, the veteran squad. So we have all the different units, all the fluff. This is here or just the fluff of all the different units and all the different things you will find later on in, in as, as options for this codex so some schematics about the paint work here we have and that wing schematics typical I, I, I say I always like this type of um, dragon wing I like to see these schemes because it's giving you an idea how to paint and it, sometimes it's nice just to have a schematic drawing of what you need to paint so more and then we have some of the successor chapters all the ones that I we saw before how they're painted some awesome pictures I go fast here because it's not I don't it's a big codex too I don't want to, to lose a lot of time so you, we have this is the new chaplain really nice just some stops to show some of the new artwork then we go into the codex itself so the first thing is we have um, like in the uh, space marines we have the how it's called this the lion's blade strike force that you need a mandatory a demi company uh, and then you you have the auxiliaries and you can have the inner circle so the detachment must include a minimum choice of one core choice and one auxiliar choice it can optionally include a number of core or auxiliar choices in any combination and up to one common choice only data sheets listed in above can be included in the detachment and all units in the detachment must have dark angels faction so and then we have the benefits so the company includes uh, a company master and the other including a chaplain then together form a, a comp so it's the same as in the space marines they form a company if you have two demi companies any unit from the battle company that has uh, so take Reno Razor Rock as well pot as a transport they take it for free and then they have also the supreme fire discipline unless jinking all models in the formation have green resolve special rule 
fire over wedge using the normal ballistic skill so it's really 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 a strong formation and it's pushing you to be here because it's boosting completely the the the, the abilities of the dark angels so red this is the one of and uh, it's quite similar but instead of having objective secure you have the supreme fire discipline and I think the battle company have um, we have to check that to know but we'll have the the objective secure we have as usual the equipment who I will go very fast on, on the new on the units just give my opinion um, Belial it remains the same and I will compare to the previous codex because uh, so it's a nice guy have two options you and with thunder hammer and, and storm shield or with the shooting and the sword I still like more than the close combat option it's a nice close combat but no it's not mandatory to include to have that win so I think we are going to see this guy less we have Samuel and we still have the two options so you can take this one or the sub or, or the sable claw uh, normally Samuel with the jet bike looks more strong it's the only character that have um, Raven win special rule and I think this is one of the mistakes in this codex we see the period fact uh, so far I haven't seen any fact please correct me if I'm wrong but so far this is mandatory if you want to take the Raven win so we have here um, uh, something different so to have a death win no you need um, a character that have the death win special rule we see that a lot of characters have death win special rule to be able to have the formation or the attachment of the raven win you need to have the raven win special rule and so far only samael and the sable cloud have that and you can take this or this you cannot take both because it's the same guy one uh, this in on the jack bike or samael on the Land speeder. Land speed, this land speeder is still two cool points and armor 14. It's more very similar to before. The only difference now can do um, can do some attacks like close combat attacks. So uh, in the movement phase, if you pass over an enemy unit, you do uh, this three plus one hits of strength for AP2, but it's not bad. But I don't think you want to be a range of close combat because then they assault you. You are dead. Because you have armor 10 at the back. We have the interrogator, it's a more of the same. It's a, a guy that is, is a close combat guy that is boosting your units in close combat, the same as Asmodai. Uh, this one costs 110, and you have some equipment that you can get, especially in close combat. Uh, and I think have the Death Wing special rule, so he can lead at the Death Wing. And I think also have the possibility to have a bike, so you can take a bike. But the problem is the bike is not giving them Raven win by default, so we have to check if it is changing later. Um, we have Asmodai. Asmodai have not option for bike. Is just close. Is a close combat guy. 140 points maybe is too much, uh, and it have a lot of rules like like Zealot and what is the other one, the one, the hand, uh, it's giving a lot of special rules and to boost in close combat and to make your units stronger in close combat we have the librarian, 65 points very cheap, if you want a cheap option, also death win so you, the body with terminator armor can lead death win, you don't need to spend no, you don't need to pay the toll of 190 points of Belial, just taking the librarian on terminator armor is good enough or, or even without the terminator armor terminator armor is costing um it's here it's 25 points with in terminator it will cost 90 points but it's worth it because then you can deep strike with the rest of the squads uh, we have ezekiel ezekiel uh, have also the death wing special all the characters have the death wing special rule so any character can leave the death wing uh, but I think they are they have obliged they are obliged to have Terminator armor. So um, we will check later on on the formation. Kind of have of course Terminator armor, but he's a level three, and the new the new the new powers from Dark Angels are quite strong. So we are going to see Dark Angels losing their own powers. So they are I think they are the most interesting choice in in the HQ at this moment. Ezekiel and the Librarians. An Ezekiel has three wounds, what makes them him stronger than a normal one and have two wounds. 
we keep going, it, this is my, it's just the first preview. We have then the company master, and the company master also have the death wing special rule. The company master can take the terminator armor too, but cannot take the bike. And yeah, and this is part of the fluff that the normally only the only com uh, the company master with bike is the Samuel. I don't know what can take Terminator because the, yeah, it should be only one Terminator com company master. But we have here the company master 90 points. Yeah, it's it's doing the same role as a, and the Space Marines is the it's a three wounds guy that can be quite good in close combat, and and yeah and. And that's all. We have the chaplain that is the 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 yeah, it's the version the it's have yeah <clears throat> it's a two wounds version of the in of the interrogator and I think and has not the death wind so he is more uh, has not the death wind special rule so yeah it's the it's a cheap HQ with some hitting, with some close combat. Then we have the tank marine is almost the same as, as the, as as in in the space marines. The the thing is that what makes different Dark Angel is that instead of having chapter tactics, the chapter tactics is the Grim Resolve. The Grim Resolve what is doing is they are stubborn, and they do Overwatch at ballistic skill two. That sometimes can be uh, used as ballistic skill three, depending on the attachment. And if you have seen in the, in the lion's blade strike force, they can use that ballistic uh, full ballistic skill. So what is interesting? So they are quite strong in in uh, when they receive a, a charge. Then we go to after, this is the last HQ. We go to the tactical squads and uh, went to the troops, and then we have tactical squads and its codes. Uh, and I think they have the same, exactly the same value as the Space Marines, and they will do the same role. So uh, they have also, you see here, the Grim Resolve is the, the special rule for this chapter. Uh, let me check, the, I'm, I'm giving well. This is one thing that I, I don't like too much from the last version. So I will check just the Grim Resolve for you to be sure that they give the right rules. But I'm pretty sure that this. A stubborn plus uh, Grim Resolve models with the special rule is, uh, have the stubborn special rule uh, unless jinking they do, they use the ballistic skill as two when all fighting Overwatch and sometimes can be um, stronger. So yeah, no, 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 nothing more about the tactical squad. It's just and uh, the big difference now is that you have uh, access to the glove weapons as the Space Marines. If you see the when you you look at the op weapons options, now the graph uh, cannon with the graph amp is 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 optional. So uh, now it's also the Dark Angels have access to all the graph weapons like the Space Marines do. So yeah, although they are the masters of the plasma, maybe you want to start using graph weapons, scouts, and very um, yeah, no, no not changes there. These squads have changed, so the, the company veterans, no, the company veterans is still there. Uh, a model might take a melee or range weapon list, and for every five models you can take a... So any model can take melee or range weapons, so you can have all them with plasma pistols and power swords. So they are oriented to close combat if you want to use them, because range weapons are mainly the Power uh, normally is the plasma pistol and the combi weapon, so you can equip them all with combi weapons if you want. I'm looking now for the. the let me see what is in range weapons. So it's then going back and forth. They want to show with you. So in range we have the ball gun, the stone bolter, and the combis. So they can have the combi grab if you want, or the combi plasma, or the combi meltdown. So yeah, but the combi is costing 10 points, so if you spend points, or you can have the grab pistol to them, uh, and yeah, you can you you can personalize a little bit the veteran squad, uh, have some options, but they are not as good as the Stengard, you have the special ammunition that I think is what for me makes good the Stengard. Uh, and then we have the common squad, that the, common, the command squad 
Yeah, they cannot be increased. They are five feet. Although this, this is the advantage of the veterans, they can go. Uh, they can have eighteen additional. So they can have five additional for eighteen points. Then the common squad cannot do that. Okay, and what well, they have other special rules like what well, they have the champion. And then one veteran can can take an item. You can take the uh, the standards. Only one. Mm, one veteran can be equal to to champion, and then any veteran can take melee, range, and special weapons from the list. So these are a fully personalized. It's five guys. They they can have also the 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 how it's called this. Oh, we forgot now. Uh, the apothecary. Sorry, the apothecary, and any veteran can take a storm shield. So. You can make a strong close combat, but you are going to use a lot of points if you want to personalize them. Uh, they are not very popular, and I don't think this is the strength of the codex unless you want to do what is called normally the green wing. Then we have, sorry, here, the two dreadnoughts options, the dreadnought and the Benoblade uh, dreadnoughts. Mm, they, well, as in the case of the Space Marines, now they can go in formations. So we can have a formation of uh, or a squad of three dreadnoughts. Uh, I think also here, yeah, this is costing 100 points. This costs 125 points. When they have, uh, still have the rule to... They have win resolve, what is interesting, so they can do overwatch at ballistic skill 2. So, yeah, they are not bad options and they have... Uh, it's like a dreadnought, so they have all the weaknesses and all the strength of any dreadnought. The Death Wind Terminator Squad, and they keep all the flavor that they can be personalized as you want. So you can have one heavy weapon every five. You see, every five models in the squad, they can take a Terminator heavy weapon from the list. Uh, they can also be equipped with twin link, um, line, uh, two lightning claws, a thunder hammer, and a storm shield. They went down in points. Uh, if I'm not wrong, but if you use the Thunder Hammer and the Storm Shield, then the, you go up again in points. They have the Death Wind um, rule, the Grim Resolve, so the is interesting, and the Split Fire, what is very good. The Split Fire can be very good. And if you look, we look now the rule of the Death Wind, I think what they give is Fearless. So really the Grim... Let me go back a little bit. I go back and forth a little bit, but it seems... The rules are put in that way. Death win, a model with a special rule have fearless and hated chaos space marine. So, yeah, and yeah, we, if we look Raven win, um, the thing that what is very interesting is they can roll failed cover safe when jinking, but it's quite interesting. So yeah, Raven win receive a big boost in that codec. So uh, I will say Death win are more of the same. Death win common squad is. As more or less as previously it, previously it was. Uh, you, you also have the option for the plasma cannon on the terminators, if I'm not wrong. They, they didn't change anything that we used to have before. So if we go to the heavy weapons for heavy terminator heavy weapons, we have the heavy flame or plasma cannon, assault cannon, and the cyclone missile launcher. The cyclone missile launcher one. It does replace models stone bolter. So you put so yeah, here we have. So we have the same and then we have the Deathwing Knights. Not changing on these guys. They still have I think I don't know if they went down in points, 235 points. Is it really a close combat? Um, that have the mass of the, and the maze of the absolution, and the guy, the leader, have the flay of the unforgiven. Uh, we can check these weapons, but they, if I'm not wrong, no, ne are a little bit better than before. Never big fan of this of the rules of these guys, although I like a lot them. So the flay of the unforgiven is a strength plus two, AP three, melee concussive and flesh vein. So you, I don't know why you want the strength plus two. Yeah, it's good against monsters. And then we have the mass of the absolute. The maze of the absolution is strength two, AP three, melee concussions and a smith. 
and it means is when a model equipped with this weapon makes its close combat attacks, it can choose instead of to make a single smith attack, and then you have a strength by two, and AP two. So, yeah, they are they are very strong against the space marines. They will not be the best. Well, they they attack at initiative step, if I'm not wrong. So they they are, if you, they are not bad. Uh, I think they make a little bit stronger and if you keep them base to base then you have plus one to toughness thanks to the shields it's a close combat unit I don't know if this is better I, I, I think I still prefer to put these guys with the storm shield and thunder hammer but it's up to you although storm shield and thunder hammer are going to be 10 points per miniature 250 points so these guys with the storm shield and thunder hammer are more expensive than these guys so I, I can see no the space for this then we have the Raven Win squad, common squad is very good is more is, is like the same have hit and run Raven Win is cold skill rider so yeah they, they are really a good bikes and with the mm, the Raven Win rule that now you reroll the Jink and the skill rider they are make them quite uh, dangerous and you also can know you can include three additional I think before it was not possible so you can make a, a common squad of six bikes what is very interesting and they have a lot of choices they go with the plasma thing that is um, two shots uh, at range uh, 18 if I'm not wrong let me check I think it's assault 18 inches it's called the plasma talon let me check exactly to, I want to give you the right plasma talon yeah it's 7 to rap, and it's rapid fire gets hot and twin link so you have to be at 9 inch range to be effective but I think they are quite scary so it's a short and range uh, plasma but it's quite strong unit uh, Rhino and Razorback I will not go into details it's the, exactly the same drop pod no change the assault squad I don't think you are going to use this if you do Dark Angels, or I never use this in, on Dark Angels. They still have the Wind Resolve, but you want to solve, not to be assaulted, I guess, with these guys. Uh, there will be no, you, maybe we are going to see them more on the table because they are mandatory choices, but I expect to see them without any upgrades, just to fulfill the slot that they pay and the toll that you have to pay to be able to have the Demi Company. The driving wind is bike squad again driving wind is the driving wind rule is, is very strong they also have wim, wim resolve so and yeah and they can do common at squads so now the big difference here is the driving wind um, unit is only composed by bikes and can include the attack bike but it was not before that the land speeder was into the unit now there is a detachment if you want to re replicate what used to be in the past it was the six bikes plus the attack bike plus the the line speeder. We also have formations of um, squads of attack bikes, line speeders, uh, the same, a little bit cheaper. Again, and they have the rubbing wind rule. All of them have the rubbing wind rule, so they jink and they can roll when jinking. This guy have in, in I think the same points and they they have increased in they have plus one no to the one additional um hull point and now what those is all friendly units of dark angels or faction within six inches or more um driving when roads gain fear and steal the special rule so this do not affect the road itself. Furthermore enemy units cannot fight overwatch friendly units with the Dark Angels faction that are within, so it's quite interesting and he has is rolled so yeah this guy is going to be difficult to hit and give a bubble of protection plus the enemies cannot overwatch so they're going to be targeted I guess but they, they can be um, they will resist a little bit more no thanks to the armor but an additional hull point plus the rolled if you play well your your cars can resist a little bit the Nephilim Jet Fighter, I think this is the one that have changed 
let me change the strafing um, no, the Avenger Mega Boulder is the same the Black Sword missiles, I will check because I never used flyers before so I'm not very familiar with the flyers on this chapter uh, I need to invest maybe in flyers in future the Black Shot missiles are 36 inches, strength 7, AP3 and heavy 1 so this and the Avenger Mega Bolter is just a lot of shots of Bolter, yeah it's strength 6, AP4 so this is very good against light vehicles yeah it's very good against light vehicles and I think that when shooting enemy vehicles Nephilim can choose to treat any weapon destroyed as a result of immobilized so if you do all immobilization you can kill arena with uh, two pens it's not bad, it's not uh, bad I have the twin link heavy bolter and you can change by the twin link last cannon for five points that I will do if you want to hunt vehicles and then we have the raven wind that, so this is but it's 170 points, it's a lot but it's specialized in hunting vehicles, especially light vehicles so it's it's going to be good to hunt other flyers then we have the Ravenwind Dark Talon the Ravenwind Dark Talon is equipped with the two Hurricane Bolters uh, plus the Rift Cannon and the Rift Cannon if I'm not wrong also change it from before let me check the Rift Cannon now with Strength 10 AP2 Heavy 1 Blast Blind Rift Vortex yeah this is quite strong now you can leave a Vortex on the enemy, so and his strength 10 AP2, who quite is quite killy. So, this is really anti heavy infantry um, guy. And then have the bus and uh, have the, the Estasis bomb, this four uh, strength 4 AP5, it's bomb, large blast. I have the Ecstasis anomaly, and any unit um, hit by one or more weapon with this special rule, use the weapon skill and initiative by three to minimum of one. So, most likely, uh, any. Uh, guy within this exit is going to be about um, skill 1 and initiative 1 uh, if a model suffers one or more unsafe wound from this weapon it must pass a separate initiative test for each wound suffered or be removed from player's casualty so very 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 yeah it's anti-infantry and uh, yeah and you can give and you can uh, hit one of these um, close combat specialized unit and make him accessible for the rest of the army so it's a good support but this is again 160 points I'm not sure again at all we also have the Ravenwing Black Knights uh, yeah, more of the same if you want plasma, plasma and plasma here you have the plasma guys so these are really a shooting unit they still have they also have the the Corvus Hammer, so it's, I like the, uh, uh, guys equipped with, I think they have, I don't know, if, yeah, they have hit and run, so, yeah, you can un disengage, but if you have plasma, you want to use the plasma, you don't, you don't want to, to be engaged in close combat, I guess. It's good to have also the, the, the Corvus Hammer, is strength plus one melee rending, so it's not bad. And yeah, the point is, as this plasma is short range, maybe you want to shoot the plasma and finalize the war with the Corvus. And if you get engaged and you got um, blocking close combat, you always can do hit and run and, remo and get out of the combat. And remember that you have to roll uh, four or less to be able to get out of the combat. Um, Raven Wind Lance Peter Vengeance, very similar to before, is a plasma platform shooting and with a heavy bolter that you can change for it it's again it's good in have quite a strong it's not that this this guy is not super strong shooting I think if I prefer the other one the one that gives rotted I think maybe it's the worst option as land speeder because it's quite expensive 120 points the plasma is not amazing and you still have armor th uh, 3 I uh, 10 all around and 3 whole points um, Devastator Squad, no access to the grab weapons, no, nothing else to say. Also with the Grim Resolve, that is combining very well with Devastator Squads, especially if you use grab weapons. So if you use Plasma, you don't synergize with the roll. 
uh, predators, as in the space marines, if you have units of three, they will have special rules that are the same in the space marines. So, um, tank hunter and monster hunter. Okay. The wirblings, again, if you take them in units of three, you have the special rule. The same for the indicators, they can give the big template. So, it's. Um, they can use the large blast to apocalyptic blast them. And if in the Norse cover, so yeah, if, but you need three of them, so it's 360 points. Land Riders didn't change, no, they don't have the death win special rule anymore, you are not obliged to have that. So, yeah, the Land Riders are the transport for your Terminators. If you do that win, we have Azrael as a, a Lord of War. It's the same with the difference that no, it's not giving, cannot lead the two wings because now we have the attachment to do that. And have the supreme strategies when determining warlord, a rail can choose the warlord they want to use. What is quite nice, it's not bad. So in, in, add plus one to this initiative role. So it's a tactical guy. So in close combat, it's not amazing. Have the, at least have the, how it's called, is the. The, the guy, the Lion Helm, the give 4 plus Mono save uh, all models in his unit, what is quite neat. And we go into the formations. We have the Demi Company. Demi Company is composed by a, common, uh, a company master or chaplain, uh, zero 01 common squad, zero 01 veteran squads, three tacticals. This is why I said that we are going to see the soul because now we are mandatory if you want the demi company. The devastator the squad and zero one the bend notes. Uh, fire discipline unless jinking all models from this formation. Uh, so if, if you don't take the lion's blade at least here you have in the demi company you have uh, a skill three by default instead of the two. Sorry I put my hand in front. And they have objective secure. secure. So this is uh, strong. So uh, now you can imagine if you do the detachment that is composed by two demi companies and the auxiliary, you will have a lot of objective secure units. Plus they will, yeah, this this rule will will be overruled by the detachment rule, but it's quite a strong one. Let's with redemption force. It's um, one model from the following, Belial, Company Master, Interrogator, Chaplain, or Librarian, and, uh, and I think they have two... All independent galactic in this formation must have Terminator armor, so this is mandatory. Two to five um, Deathwing Terminator squads, then zero to one Deathwing Command squads, Deathwing Knights, or Venerable Dreno. So this is the first company. And you see the first company is only Terminators. And they have the death win assault. All units in this formation must be placed in deep strike immediately after the main warlord trade. Make a second note in which of your turns you would like to each death win redemption force arrive. And now the difference is that you cannot arrive in turn one, you have to choose two, three, or four. But it's a pity because now you need another thing to put on the table. If not, you are dead in turn one. Okay, and if this formation includes a venerable drain, you have to go into a pot. Uh, take the fight of to the enemy units in this formation can either shoot and then run. So you and the turn that they arrive, I think. Yeah, the turn they arrive. You have like the elder. You can shoot and run or run and shoot. So you can reposition yourself and then shoot if you fall too far. Uh, but again, you cannot use this formation alone. And I, I don't know if it's part of the demi company. Let me check. But I think it's part of. I guess it will be part of the demi company of the lions, right? Sorry. Detachment. Um, the Raven Wind, Raven Wind, yeah, the Death Wind Redemption Force, which is part of the auxiliar things. So you can take that. The, uh, really, the Lion is very different from the the com the Demi Company or, or the the formation from the Space Marines. This is very similar, but then we have the Raven Wind. Squadron, the Raven Wind Squadron, so, so you have uh, more Raven Wind, you have all the vehicles formation that we, we had, or the wheel formation that we had in the, all the Space Marines. So let's go back to the formation. Sorry that I, I jumped back. We have the Raven Wind at Attack Squadron, is one Raven Wind Bike Squad or Raven Wind Attack Bike Squad, and one unit of Raven Wind Land Speeders or Raven Wind Land Speeder Vengeance. This is the unit Raven Wind Land Speeders may only include. 
one model. So this is how you do know the all formation. So if you take the Raven Wind bike squad full equipped, and then you take one one speeder is what you used to have. Uh, you have a scout, you have attack squadron. If the Raven Wind line speeder or the Raven Wind line speeder, and you can combine them with the line speeder vengeance if you want. From this formation, it scores one or more hits on the enemy unit in the shooting phase. Then all models in this formation, Raven Wing bike squad, attack squad, add one to the ballistic skill. So you are is is similar to what the yeah you use the 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 <coughs> sorry the land speeder to help the rest of the formation to shoot. Then summon the death wind friendly units composed entirely for models that win a special rule do not discard if they strike so long the first model is placed so they have like a teleport back on then we have the raven wind support squared one that is one unit of raven wind speeders and one unit of land speed vengeance or raven wind and dark road and the unit of raven wind land speeders must include uh, at least three speeders so this is like uh, land speeder support and they have win resolve what is very interesting because they are vehicles so it means that they can do overwatch interceptor strafing run and then they have the raven shield so when enemy unit declares a charge against friendly unit with the raven wind special rule models in this formation within 24 inches of a, uh, a unit that can use uh, choose fire overwatch against the charging unit even though Vehicles can not normally do fire overwatch. Uh, template weapons can only use the wall of defense, so they can they can do overwatch. And then they have support squadron. All vehicles in this formation must form uh, a single vehicle squad as described. So they are one one unit at the end. Quite interesting. We have a uh, Robin Wind Silence Squadron that is two Nephilims and one Dark Talon. Um, I will not go into details knowing that one. And then we have the Hammer of Caliban that is very similar to the other one that we have from the Space Marines. It's a tank marine and then a unit chosen from Land Riders. So from well, one Land Rider and then one unit of Predators, Wheelwings of Indicators. Uh, and the formation of, uh, yeah, and the unit of Indicators, Predators have to have three. So this is the one for, with the is the way to include tech marines in, in your army. So these are the formations and the warlord traits. I will not go now into details, but they look quite interesting. I think I will do a second video because this is getting too long. But they have some interesting warlord traits. If you want, we can cover them. So they have also the combat squads. These ones I covered before. And the warlord traits is your warlord has precision shot, special rule. In addition, your warlord shooting attacks have ignored cover special rule. It's not amazing. Your warlock and all friendly units within the Dark Angel faction, 12 inches of him, have failed special rule. This uh, are almost useless. Your warlord and his unit have furious charge special rule. This is if you want to go in close combat, very well combined with the Death Wind. Uh, while your warlord is alive, and one of the battlefield, you can add one to your Obstruct one from the reserve roll. This is quite interesting, it's very tactical. Your Warlord and his unit add three inches to their maximum move distance when they move, flat out, turbo boost, run, or make a charge moves. So, this is very good. And your Warlord and his unit have Feel No Pain, a special rule while they are within this is also very good. Film no pain is always very good, although you have to be in objective. We have uh, all the special rule, uh, weapons. The weapons didn't change. We lost the um, displacement field, the three plus invulnerable, and we also lost the one uh, lost the one that was uh, a bubble of four plus invulnerable safe. Um, uh, now the yeah the relics are almost the same. I don't think there are changes there. I will not go into the details. This is the new the new interromancy discipline. The mind worm is quite strong. Okay, it's um, strength six AP two ignores cover sub will if a model suffers uh, any unsafe wounds from mind worm 
with weapon, is, uh, weapon and ballistic skill, initiative and leadership, okay, this is reduced by 3, so you really make a guy useless. Uh, this is especially if you attack characters. Um, the Seed of Fear is a malediction that targets all enemy units on 9 inches, while a, po um, a power is in effect, all target units must take a moral check as well as spinning and fear test on 3d6 uh, this is a blessing that targets single friendly units of 24 inches while the power is in effect the target unit has reached a special rule the malediction that is forcing the enemy to do only snapshots is so it is the inverse of the invisibility these are the milestone of misery is a witch fire that have um, a strength 1 ap2 a soul blast and neural shock. Neural shock is caused, you know, always wounds on four plus, and not effects on. So it's yeah, it's a way. It's a blast. It's just a direct damage. It's not the best one. And then we have the focus witch fire, power that is range 18, and the effect model must take a leadership must roll 2d6 plus two and subtract the leadership. Then model suffer number of wounds. So if they want to kill a special guy in the, in squad. And yeah, and the mind wipe is a mana addiction that targets a single enemy unit within 24 inches. All models in the target unit have their weapon uh, a skill and ballistic reduced to one until the end of their next turn. At which point the unit must take a leadership test if the leadership is failed. So this is very strong, but three warp changes. So the two and three are difficult to to do. And this, to be fair, for two warp changes is not that good. I like a lot the first three. Uh, they also have their own tactical, and here we have more detachments. And here is how you want to play Deathwing and Ravenwing. So if you want to play Deathwing, you use this detachment. You have one HQ and two elites um, mandatory. You can add up to two HQ and ten additional elites. All the elites have to be with the Terminator, so you imagine that uh, yeah, they, they it's a sprint somewhere here. All units in the judgment have death wins, so all have all have to have the death win. A special rule or be dedicated transport units with minimal Renaults in this formation may only include one model which must be and they have to go in the pot. And they have to be summoned. All units in this detachment must begin the game in deep strike. If your army includes a Raven Win attack a squadron so this detachment cannot go alone. What is quite weird, unless I guess I include a land rider, because if you go alone, you lose. First night of Caliban. If the detachment, if your primary detachment, you can reroll the result one rolling as usual. Using the detachment can either shoot or run. So it's the same, the same as the the, the um, formation, but uh, as a detachment. And then we have the rubbing wing. But I think this is the strongest one. So you can have one HQ and two fast attacks. You can take another H two HQ elite, ten fast attacks and three heavy supports. And I guess the heavy all have to have the rubbing wind special rule, so it means the heavy support is only the the plasma speeder, land speeder, and yeah, and the elite can only be the Raving Wing Common Squad. Here is the only thing that is puzzling me. You have to have the Raving Wing Special Rule, and the only character that has Raving Wing Special Rule so far is the Samuel. I think this, this is a mistake in this codex, so I expect a correction, but so far you only can use Samuel. What this gives to you is the detachment is your premium, your roll on the table as usual during your first turn on your uh, or your second turn. If the units in this detachment were placed in reserve, any units from this detachment that turbo boost or move flat out as jinking until the next uh, uh, as jink, yeah count as jinking as the next one. So you jink automatically if you do flat out. Uh, so it's you have jink without losing your ability for the next turn. However, units from this detachment that do so can still fire their guns and normal. So they call as jinking, they jink, but they don't lose the ballistic skill in the next turn. This is only for turn 1. Strike as 1. All of the unit in this detachment must be either replaced in reserve or deployed as normal. If placed in reserve, all units in this detachment automatically arrive 
at the start of your second turn. So yeah, it's quite strong, but then again, if you put all in reserve, then you need other units on the table. So these detachments cannot go alone. And that's all. What we have in this book is quite complete. I think it makes a very solid choice. The Archangels are quite solid now, are a strong codex, and I expect them to see more on the table. I'm very happy because this is m my favorite chapter. I have my Marines um, 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 with the heraldry of the Archangels, and I expect to put them on the table soon. So that's all. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and see you again later. Bye.